Now let us deal with some uh, numerical uh, based on analysis of a pre-stressed cross section. So first numerical, read the data carefully and listen carefully. This is the data. That is one rectangular concrete beam of a cross section 30 cm by 20 cm that is 300 by 200 mm wide is pre-stressed by means of 15 wires of 5 mm diameter located at 6.5 cm from the bottom of the beam and 3 wires of the diameter 5 mm at 2.5 cm from the top okay so just see here these are the 15 wires 15 wires jinka diameter is 5 mm which are located at 65 mm from the bottom and 3 wires of the same diameter are located at a distance of 25 mm from the uh, top so this is these are the pre-stressing wires okay and these wires are assumed to be pre-stressed at 840 newton per mm square 840 mpa in stress kiya gaya. then calculate what first see calculate the stresses at extreme fibers of a mid span section mid span section pe hi nikal hai. when the beam is supporting its own weight over a span of six meter okay and second if the uniformly distributed live load of a 6 kN per meter is imposed on a beam, evaluate the maximum working stress in concrete. The density of a concrete here is assumed to be a 24 kN per meter cube. So friends, so this is the problem which is given to us. Uh, hope so, given data, uh, you have seen it. Uh, the span of the beam is 6 meter. And here we need to analyze it for two uh, conditions that when it is supporting its self weight only and when it is subjected to the live load ab ye do condition aise hi nahi aise hi ye problem liya nahi gaya hai it is uh, taken uh, to explain very well uh, the conditions of uh, at transfer and at service load okay solution mein hum dekhte hain so let us see the solution of this now first of all we need to find the distance of the pre-stressing force from a uh, neutral axis we need to find the resultant of this pre-stressing force because uh, it is pre-stressed by a 15 wire at bottom and 3 wire at top so somewhere uh, in the cross section uh, there must be a position of a resultant pre-stressing force P so we need to find it simple by the formula that uh, uh, by which we were finding the uh, Y bar that is a1 y1 plus a2 y2 that dash, dash a n y n by summation of a in the same way we will find it that is why i need to find a distance from the bottom so how many wires so 15 wires at a distance of 65 mm so 15 into 65 plus three wires at a distance of 275 mm from the bottom because 300 ka beam hai aur 25 mm pe distance par ye top se hai so this distance will be a 275 from bottom so 15 wires into its distance from bottom plus three wires into its distance from bottom again divided by total number of wire will give us location of the resultant of pre-stressing force and i found it 100 mm from the bottom as you can see in figure y that which is 100 mm from the bottom okay now the given cross section is rectangular y bar will be at the mid of its depth so the neutral axis is lying at the distance of 150 mm and y is found to be 100 mm so can you tell me the eccentricity eccentricity of the cable simple eccentricity will be 150 minus this 100 that is the 50 mm so at 50 mm our resultant of pre-stressing force is lying so simply we can convert this problem into a simple problem that uh, one force p at a distance of 50 mm from neutral axis okay now the pre-stressing force how much will be the pre-stressing force will be involved here so the stress multiplied by total area of steel this is what done over here that is stressing each wire into the number of wire into the area of each wire stressing each wire is 840 into area of each wire pi by 4 into 5 square multiplied by how many wires are there 18 wires so i got this much of newton force ek mota mota sa 3 kilonewton maan lete that is uh, sorry 3 into 10 raised to 5 newton 
so it is uh, of course how much it will be it will be i guess 300 kN okay so this much is the pre stressing force uh, which is pre stressing force of this 3 into 10 raised to 5 newton acting at eccentricity of 50 mm below the neutral axis now this is the case area of cross section b by d we will get area of cross section moment of inertia since the cross section is a rectangular by bd cube by 12 you will get moment of inertia and section modulus again section is uh, rectangular so uh, distance of its neutral axis from top and bottom will be same so yt will be equal to yb uh, so no need to calculate zt and zb differently but uh, wherever this is the condition where the yt and yb are not same in asymmetrical uh, cross sections you need to calculate zt and zb separately but here zt will be equal to zb or jo ki hai bd square by 6 or i by y you can calculate uh, anyhow so here zb and zt is 3 into 10 raised to 6 mm cube sulfate of beam sulfate of beam is nothing but the cross section of beam multiplied by density density yahan pe hame given hai that is a 24 cross section kitna hai 0.3 into 0.2 so sulfate will be 1.44 kN per meter and moment due to this will be wl square by 8 so 6 is the span that's why moment will be of a 6.48 kN meter live load is given to us that is it is a 6 kN per meter and moment due to the live load is uh, can be written as 6 into 6 square by 8 that is 27 kN meter so these are the moment due to dead load and live load now the stress is stress at transfer i would like to give a stress at this word that is transfer stress at transfer what is this condition whenever certain beam is pre stressed with a pre stressing tendon and if it is placed on its uh, position wherever it may be and if it is not subjected to live load it is only subjected to or it is only supporting its own weight only then this stage is called as transfer because why because we are only transferring a pre stressed through the tendon to that beam so this is the stage at transfer and when the same beam is subjected to live load then that uh, that would be a uh, stress at service okay these are the two conditions now why we need to consider this to आपने पूछना चाहिए सर हम बीम तो वैसे ही बनाएंगे नहीं ऑफ कोर्स बीम विल बी सब्जेक्टेड टू अ लाइव लोड फिर ये दो चीजें अलग अलग कंसीडर करने की जरूरत क्या है जरूरत इसलिए है एज वी हैव सीन जस्ट जस्ट अपार्ट फ्रॉम द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम वी नीड टू डिस्कस इट एज इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एट अ टाइम ऑफ ट्रांसफरिंग द प्रेस्ट्रेस टू दी कॉन्क्रीट और टू दी बीम जब वो सिर्फ रखा हुआ है या सपोर्टेड है विदाउट एनी लोड Uh, we have discussed that is the moment induced due to this eccentric prestressing will be of hogging in nature so jab beam beam will be hog as such a hogging hoga so tensile stress would be induced on top fiber and compressive stress will be induced on bottom fiber we know that concrete is weak in tension in resisting tension to hame kya karna hai we need to take care that the tensile stress induced wherever at top or bottom should be within a permissible limit theek hai to jab bhi hum at the time of transfer press stress is a transfer kar rahe hain aur beam jab hog ho raha hai tab yahan ke jo tensile stress hai jab is pe live load nahi hai jab yahan pe tensile stress hai it should be within permissible limits agar ye exceed hote hai then there will be a, there will be a cracking at top fibers which we need to avoid okay and when this beam is subjected to a live load certain live load so it will sag okay now the bottom most fibers are subjected to tensile stresses and again these stresses should be within permissible limit okay again it should be within permissible limit to avoid a crack uh, of a section a visible crack in a section 
ओके सो दैट्स वाई दिज आर दी टू केसेस एट द ट्रांसफर जब हॉगिंग होगा एट द सर्विस जब सैगिंग होगा दोनों भी केस में हमें टेंसाइल स्ट्रेस को विद इन परमिसिबल लिमिट रखना है इसीलिए ये दो केस डिफरेंटली हमें कंसिडर करनी होती है ओके दैट्स इट What are the permissible limits? We will be discussing it in design section. Okay, now we are performing analysis. Okay, back to the solution. So stress at transfer. Now it is clear. What is stress? Stress at transfer. <coughs> so this is the stress at transfer when the beam is supporting surfet only. So this complex uh, cross section is converted into the simple one that is this is this is the resultant pre stressing force which is lying at a 50 mm from the neutral axis okay eccentricity is 50 mm now at this cross section this will be the p pre stressing force jo hame humne calculate kiya hai 3 3 into 10 to 5 newton ka at a distance of e and this will be the mg at transfer dead load to rahega hi rahega dead load to is support karna hi hai so at uh, transfer there will be a dead load so i am considering only mg mg moment due to the dead load which is uh, acting like sagging moment is so, yes sagging moment okay but since the pre stressing is acting at a eccentricity e or this this uh, scenario can be represented like this फोर्स तो रहेगा ही प्लस एसेंट्रिसिटी की वजह से मोमेंट भी आने वाला है विच विल बी इक्वल टू पी इन टू ई एंड मोमेंट ड्यू टू द डेड लॉक तो है ही सो और प्रॉब्लम बिकम्स लाइक दिस और और प्रॉब्लम टर्न्स इनटू दिस दैट दिस इज द क्रॉस सेक्शन सब्जेक्टेड टू द फोर्स पी जिसकी वजह से डायरेक्ट स्ट्रेस आएगा ए व्हेन द पी इज प्लेस्ड एट एन इसेंट्रिसिटी ई जिसकी वजह से पी इनटू ई मोमेंट आएगा जो कि अपोजिट रहेगा मोमेंट ड्यू टू डेड लोड के ओके व्हाई बिकॉज टेंडेंस आर केप्ट बिलो द न्यूट्रल एक्सिस ओवर हियर सो दिस विल बी द सिनेरियो so for this scenario what will be the stresses so direct stress due to pre stressing will be p by a so just putting the value of p and cross sectional area a i found direct stress of 5 mpa now bending stress due to the pre stress will be p into z t or p into z p here z t and z b uh, having a same value so uh, again i found it by uh, putting the values again i found it of 5 mpa this is a coincidence that the direct stress and the pre stressing stress be as the same value but this will not happen in every problem okay self weight <coughs> stress that is the uh, mom, uh, stress due to the moment due to self weight okay so mg mg ki wajah se aane wala stress so mg by z again i found it of 2.16 mpa so these are the stresses irrespective of the signs ab sign hum consider karenge yahan ओके फर्स्ट स्ट्रेस पहला स्ट्रेस कौन सा आएगा तो पहला स्ट्रेस हमेशा डायरेक्ट स्ट्रेस रहता ही है जो पी बाय ए रहता है हर केस में रहता है पी बाय ए फाइव एम पी ए प्लस पी इंटू जेड पी इंटू जेड विल बी नेगेटिव एट टॉप एंड पॉजिटिव एट बॉटम वाई बिकॉज इट इज हॉगिंग मोमेंट एंड दीज आर दी स्ट्रेस ड्यू टू दिस्ट्रेसिंग ये दोनों मिलके ये जो दोनों दिख रहे हैं आपको दीज आर दी स्ट्रेसेस एट बॉटम ओके and now the stress due to the self weight self weight ke wajah se this is mg by zt and mg by zb bottom mein sorry top mein compressive why because acting downward to moment rahega sagging so positive m by zt at top and negative m by zt zb at bottom okay so plus 2.16 minus 2.16 इसके अलावा और कोई स्ट्रेसेस मुझे तो नहीं लगता यहाँ पे है एट दी एट दी स्टेज ऑफ ट्रांसफर करेक्ट सो जस्ट गो फॉर रिजल्टेंट रिजल्टेंट विल बी द एडिशन ऑफ दिस दैट इज फाइव माइनस फाइव विल बी जीरो एंड प्लस टू पॉइंट वन सिक्स टू पॉइंट वन सिक्स पॉजिटिव आया है इट मीन्स दैट टॉप फाइबर बाई टू पॉइंट वन सिक्स एम पी ए का कॉम्प्रेसिव स्ट्रेसेस है ओके एंड अगेन इफ वी गो फॉर एडिशन ऑफ दिस दैट इज ये प्लस फाइव ये तो प्लस है ही प्लस फाइव टेन 10 minus 2.16 here I got again plus 7.84. It means that bottom fiber पे 7.84 magnitude का compressive stress है. कब at the stage of transfer? जब हम pre stress beam को transfer कर रहे हैं. उस पर live load अभी नहीं है. तब तो दोनों तरफ compressive stresses है. मतलब ठीक है. 
no problem compressive stresses concrete can handle very easily as concrete is uh, very strong in uh, taking compression okay so easy cheese ko hum agar equation mein likhe this will be the equation ft ft will be like this and it will be plus 2.16 and resultant stresses at bottom will be like this jo ki abhi humne dekha hai just we have written it, it in the form of equations okay so remember that at its stage of transfer we found um, both the top fiber and bottom fiber both are under compression now stresses at service सर्विस मतलब अब वो सर्विस में जा चुका है अब जिसके लिए उसे बनाया गया है उसकी वो सर्विस दे रहा है मीन्स लाइव लोड इज एक्टिंग ऑन इट एंड वेन एवर द लाइव लोड इज एक्टिंग वी नीड टू कंसिडर नाउ लाइव लोड ऑल्सो ओके सो अगेन दिस विल बी द पी जैसे हमने लास्ट टाइम देखा था दिस क्रॉस सेक्शन विल बी सब्जेक्टेड टू पी एम जी ये तो था ही प्लस एम क्यू एम क्यू का डायरेक्शन भी देखो एम जी के डायरेक्शन में ही है वाई बिकॉज बोथ आर इंड्यूसिंग सैगिंग मोमेंट इन द बी सो सैगिंग है तो टॉप में कॉम्प्रेशन आएगा बॉटम में टेंशन आएगा और दोनों का एम जी और एम क्यू बोथ विल हैविंग द सेम डायरेक्शन बट ड्यू टू दिस्ट्रेसिंग सॉरी यहाँ पे ना दिस विल बी given like this this problem can be given like this that is the p is acting at the eccentricity e and due to this eccentricity there will be a moment of p into e which will be opposite opposite to these two mg and mq okay so for this uh, live load stresses ab yahan pe live load stresses hame ek calculate karna hai which will be mq by zt and i found it to be a 9 mpa 9 mpa ke live load stresses rehne wale hai then just uh, have a look over the stress distribution then of course as uh, seen previously that there will be a direct stress of 5 mpa which will be equal to p by a agar hum p by a karte hai to hame ye milta hai then pe by zt which will be a bending stresses due to the eccentric stressing so ye minus 5 plus 5 jo pehle tha as it is it will be there and plus mg by zt or mg by zb it will be also as it is as it was in previous case but we need to add one new thing mq by zt and mq by zb which will be a compressive at top fiber tensile at bottom fiber okay and the magnitude of it is 9 mpa and minus 9 mpa at uh, bottom fiber okay so resultant stress agar inki mai addition karu to i found that this is the resultant stress okay and if i want to write in uh, the form of the equation this is like this under this uh, first square bracket these are the stress due to the pre stressing and in second square bracket these are the stresses due to dead load and live load okay so after adding these i found top uh, fiber stresses are subjected to 11.16 mpa jo pehle kam tha wahan pe compressive agar aapko yaad hoga at the stage of the transfer it was near about 2. Point something 2.67 or 2.16 uh, like this right now this time these are increased increased due to what uh, due to the addition of live load because sagging moment increased so don't worry agar ye compressive stresses badhte hain but we need to check the bottom stresses this time bottom stresses is being changed if you can see here sorry now it is a negative negative minus 1.16 ke stresses aa rahe hain so bottoms mein tensile stress aa rahe hain when live load is there at a time of uh, surface uh, bottom most fiber are subjected to tensile stresses okay so this is the difference between the uh, stage of transfer and stage of surface